Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Simon Scott Assembly Hall for the first round games of the 2024 NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship. Congratulations to Indiana and head coach Terry Morin on their at-large selection to the bracket. Just a reminder, the open locker room portion for Indiana will run simultaneously with today's press conference from 1045 to 1115 a.m. A reminder to silence your cell phones. If you are joining us in the room, please state your name and affiliation before asking a question and raise your hand and we will get you a mic. If you are joining us on Zoom, please use the raise your hand function and we will get to you near the end of the press conference. We are joined on the dais by head coach Terry Morin. Coach, if you could make an opening statement and then we'll take some questions. Sure. Well, it's uh, one of the best times of the year uh, if you uh, do what we do and that's uh, play a, this great game. and so. Uh, once again, we're excited uh, to be able to host right here in Bloomington in front of our home fans. Um, and, um, you know, I feel like our, our, our group has been here before. Uh, we came up a little short last year. So uh, I think there's extra motivation behind being able to, f to not just host, uh, but, um, you know, to, um, to show up these two days with a tremendous amount of energy and poise. We'll take questions in the room. Raise your hand and we'll get you a mic. Zion Brown, Indy Star. Terry, when you spoke on Sunday, you hadn't had any much time to really do your scout on Fairfield, mm -hmm. just having these four or five days now. What has stood out to you about them? Well, the fact that they shoot uh, right around 242 more threes than we do uh, says a lot about who they are in terms of how they want to generate their offense. Uh, I think they do a tremendous job of really trying to put pressure on you, get to the paint uh, with two feet, draw two, and kick out. Uh, they share the ball extremely well. They have a dynamic point guard in uh, Nellie Brown, who was their conference player this, of the year. Uh, and then um, you know, a lot of really great pieces around them. That um, I think all of them have the green light, although I think Coach wants them to take you know, great shots, but uh, they play with a lot of freedom. A lot of movement, a lot of cutting, going to put pressure on us defensively to um, you know, stay below our man, but also communicate at a very, very high level. This is a very good team. Here on your left. Yeah, Mike Nizek, Herald Times. Hi, uh, Terry, uh, in terms of health, uh, obviously yeah. Mackenzie, how did she make it through the week, and how do you kind of feel about the status of the team yeah. in general? You know, you kind of hope that it'd be a much healthier group. Yeah, yeah, I think I can, uh, you know, I, uh, sit here and tell you that we are much healthier. Uh, Mac has been really good um, all week, has been constant in practice, as well as Sid. Um, Lily feels a lot better on that ankle as well. Um, so we've had uh, this this break, as I knew it would be, um, has been really good for this group. And I do feel like we're going to enter, uh, you know, tomorrow's game with, um, you know, our normal five starters and um, kids that are much healthier. We'll go on your right. Uh, Todd Golden with CNHI. Terry, um, what, what's kind of the regimen for Mackenzie and Lily as you get this amount of rest that yeah. you're able to get between now and uh, tomorrow? Todd, believe it or not, Sid probably – I got the most rest out of all of them. Um, you know, Mac, you know, uh, was feeling better even in the Big Ten tournament, you know. Um, and then coming out of that, it just gave her more time. Um, Lily needed, you know, once that we got back, that ankle was, uh, you know, swollen once again. And so she needed extra time. But uh, between Lily and Sid, they, they probably required the most time off when we returned. And... Um, and, and we just tried to, you know, again, um, I have a ton of confidence in Ben and, and Dr. Tripp and our medical staff. And I just really went off of, you know, what they were telling me in terms of how our kids were feeling, um, maybe uh, giving them an extra day here or there. I really shortened up practice. Um, it was intense, but it was short. Um, and, um, and then every time we went live and we got up and down, I held my breath. Right to to because I I certainly didn't want anything uh, strange to happen, but I also knew that um, we couldn't take this two weeks off without trying to be competitive, trying to go live, um, and uh, getting them those those real live reps. Um, and so we um, we managed to get through uh, the the last two weeks um, with uh, knock on wood, everybody staying healthy. Go all the way on your left in the second row. 
Seth Tao with the Daily Hoosier. <clears throat> Uh, Terry, a uh, two-part question about Lexus. Uh, I, I know you all were working with her on her free throw motion in the middle of the season. Just is that something you've had to do before? Just you know, in the middle of the season, changing up a, a motion like that, maybe as radically as as you did with her, and you know, maybe just in terms of the things we don't see behind the scenes. Where have you seen her grow the most this year? Um, in regards to her free throw, um, you know, she and Allie have. Allie works with her daily. Um, before practice and um you know it was really ap's decision to try to help her uh with the free throw and um she actually shoots it probably better just one-handed you know but uh, didn't want to do that and so you know she does have that kind of the guide hand but it steers her to ultimately you know shooting a one one-handed uh, free throw but um you know, drastically, you know, I don't like to. I don't think our staff does either. We don't like to change shooting mechanics during the season. Uh, but with with Lexi, we felt like, you know, it, it's a free throw. And um, and just in, in working with her and watching she and Allie work, it just seemed to suit her best if she could um, sort of, you know, go to that um, uh, kind of a one-handed uh, with a little bit of a guide hand uh, on the side. But um, she, she's been great. Um, you know, when Sid went out for those six games and she had to slide over into that other uh, spot for us, that guard spot for us, um, you know, what I was most proud of Lexi was that she didn't try to do too much. She she tried to facilitate. She tried to make the team her teammates around her better. Um, she gave us another great on-ball defender. She is, uh, you know, an, a great athlete, uh, can jump um, quick. Um, and so, um, you know, what she gave us was, um, you know, again, in what we've seen her do from the bench, but um, she's just play she played a lot more minutes. So it gave her great experience, um, you know, as we go into the, to, uh, to March or this tournament. We'll stay on your left in the second row. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Skip Daly with the South Central Indiana News Network. Mm -hmm. Uh, two quick questions, personnel related. Um, can we expect to see Chloe get the call on uh, on Janelle um, for for uh, defense? Mm -hmm. And on defense, are you expecting to see their two three most of the day? And if so, will Yarden be coming in uh, sharing the five responsibilities? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, again, uh, with with Chloe and Lexi, yeah, certainly have the assignment of guarding. Brown, you know what we've seen from them. Skip is more of less less zone. Uh, they're going to switch five ways, much like Maryland did or does. Um, and so, um, you know, we expect Mac to be doubled and or fronted, um, but we go into every game expecting that. Um, so ball movement, player movement, um, our ability to to uh, draw and and um, you know, get to the paint, draw two defenders, and, and kick is going to be as important, our ability to knock down shots. But, uh, you know, I feel like we, we do have an advantage. I think we're a little bit bigger. Um, but, um, you know, I think anytime you go into tournament play, you have to expect anything. And they could come out and do something junky. Um, or they could sit in a 2-3 or a 3-2 or come out and switch five ways. Uh, but um, the great thing about our, 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 our year is that uh, we've seen just about everything. And, um, you know, I don't think that um, there's going to be any surprises. We may have to adjust some of the things we're doing, uh, but um, it's not going to keep us from trying to do what we're, we're good at, and that's play fast. We'll go right in front of you in the first row. Hey, Terry, uh, hey. Pete DiPremio, IU Athletics. Um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious, how do you balance the intensity that you need with the, uh, the fun so that they're not too stressed, but they are dialed in? Well, they are dialed in, Pete, I can tell you that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, we don't talk about anything other than, um, you know, that the fact that we're grateful to be in this tournament and we're entitled to absolutely nothing, right? And, and so we... Um, we understand that um, tournament play or tournament like this, they call it madness for a reason. And uh, we got to show up and we got to, everybody has to do their job. And, um, but inside of that, you want them to enjoy the moment. You know, uh, there's a lot of teams that aren't, uh, don't, don't have the privilege of playing in this tournament. And, um, you know, we're one of those. And so we, we try to keep that in perspective, but, um, you know, I want them to have fun. I want them to enjoy all of it. Um, 
But I do know this. I, I have a tremendous amount of confidence in that group that's down there in that locker room that um, they understand the task. And um, in order to um, achieve the goals that we want to achieve, we got to get the first one. And, um, and then we move on from there. We'll go front row on your left. Lou Friedman from the Seymour Tribune. Um, throughout the course of the season, periodically, you have talked about it just almost casually in post-game press conferences. This is a great time to be a woman mm -hmm. in sports in yeah. America and the game itself. Are you feeling that a little more even now that you're here and the attention that has been focused on women's basketball this season, which everybody's talking about mm -hmm. more and more. Yeah. I mean, so that's. I don't think it's this. I mean, I think that I felt that way, Lou, throughout um, probably in the last, you know, couple years. But, um, I, you know, I think this year in particular in our game, it's been so great because there's been, you know, we talk about parity, but this is this year is, you can really talk about it. You know, the early upsets uh, that happened. Um, but, um, and, and, you know, I've heard McKenzie talk about it. You know, it's a great time to be a women's basketball player. And um, it's a great time to be a, a female uh, that gets to coach uh, women's basketball. And, um, yeah, there's a popularity out there. I think um, you know, there's a lot of people. Uh, and, and it's for a variety of reasons. You know, I think Caitlin Clark, you know, we talk about her. There's this phenomenon with her, and it's well-deserved. But I think, think it's also – uh, put eyes on other other games, other women's games out there, and um, and I think if you've never watched women's basketball and now you're starting to watch women's basketball, you realize you've missed a you've missed a lot, right? Um, because there's an opportunity there to to uh, not just support but also enjoy um, how we play the game. And last one on the left in the front row, uh, Matt Burn, S I Indiana. Terry, I was just kind of wondering how you're going to go about managing McKenzie's minutes, whether it's a you know target number that you have in your head, or if you're just going to you know maybe play it by ear tomorrow mm -hmm. afternoon. Yep, I'm going to play it by ear. Yeah, I really am. I mean, this is uh, this is tournament time, and uh, you know we'll we'll listen to McKenzie, and uh, you know we'll have conversations throughout. But uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, she's she's good to go. We're going to play her as much as we can. Great. Yep. Thank you, Thank Coach, you. for your time.